Hey guys, it's Chief again, and today we are playing War Thunder. Um, flying my one of my favorite planes, the uh, Mustang. Well, the British Premium Mustang. This is the Mustang with the Allison engine. Um, U.S. sold a lot of these to the British in the, when this plane was first developed, and of course, um, eventually British realized that if they fit a Rolls Royce engine into it, this is the most amazing thing that ever happened. But this is the first version, so of course it's not the uh, Mustang uh, P-51D or anything of that sort. Um, still very underpowered, but um, instead of putting six, I think eventually eight 50 caliber guns uh, towards the end of the war, uh, end of the war, this is simply uh, four 20 millimeter cannon. Well, not simply, but it, this is 20 millimeter cannons, and the or this plane is about the gun. Uh, it turns out to be the British used a lot of these as uh, ground attack planes and um, attack fighters, I guess. F fighter bombers. Yeah, that's right. That's the word I was looking for. <laughs> but um, in this game, of course, uh, no bombs, just the cannons, and this is very good at. Uh, taking out heavy fighters, uh, ground attack aircrafts, and bombers, especially bombers. As you can see here, just watch the things that comes off of him. And the thing about British bomber is, uh, remember their gunners are only fire 7.7 .7 at you, and of course, if you hit the leading edge of the wing um, with these guns, it'll just pop off. It's not, you don't have to put a lot of shots into it, you rarely set engine on fire on bombers, it just, yeah. If you hit the side of the plane, the wings will just come off and then that's that. Um, I hit the uh, FW, but I didn't kill him, because, yeah. And of course, this B-25. <laughs> uh, yeah, ran out of ammo. Oh, run. Yeah. Uh, don't ever get on a head-on pass with a B-25. Uh, yeah, was it six or eight 50 caliber? It will rip any plane up um, if you're not careful. And unfortunately for this uh, uh, BDT, yeah, he's gonna have a very bad day very very soon. Great plane, um, great attack plane. Uh, another really really good premium plane, but. You're, it's just a tack plane. <laughs> and the good thing about this plane is uh, always, always lots and lots and lots of pilot kills. Yeah. The British Spitfires, this one, uh, most of the Typhoons and Tempest. Typhoon and Tempest are just different versions of Spitfire. Um, they wanted to make a really, really fast version of Spitfire, and then they realized that once it's done, that they don't maneuver very well. So they just made it uh, attack fighters or ground attack aircrafts and they're very very good at it. They're very strong and they, they have a very good bomb load so yeah. But they're just different versions of Spitfire and in lots of ways Spitfire was one of those planes that held like the uh, speed record of some sort I remember. So it's supposed to be fast as well but in this game of course it's not the fastest. Lots of plane I'll fly Spitfires. Um, again, pilot kill. I wasn't even aiming for the pilot, but okay. Not gonna complain, it kills a kill. So, uh, but again, um, any of the British planes, even Japanese planes, with the, their 20 millimeter and just, yeah. You get lots and lots of pilot kill. Um, American planes, you tend to do a lot of module damage and set a lot of people on fire and then eventually they fall to their death. Um, uh, German planes also get a lot of pilot kills because they also have a 20 mil and it's actually in the nose so you can aim really really well. Um, and of course I got two pilot kills so far and two kills that, well two uh, wing damage kills or wing destruction kills, whatever you call it, rip off their wings, <laughs> or actually one. Uh, I'll get more, but and this is a pure energy fighter. You dive on the plane. Um, 
you kill it and then you zoom back out. If you don't kill it, you keep running. You don't stop, you don't turn. You just keep keep on going because if you stop and if you try to turn, you slow down and they'll catch up to you. Uh, most playing will be able to outturn you, even BF90, uh, 190s. BF 109s, sorry. And FW 190s. FW, uh, FW is definitely a very good turning plane, but BF 109s? Uh, they can even outturn you, so yeah. Uh, as you can see on the shallow dive, I made it almost to 600 kilometers, and now I'm just look at the rate of climb. This actually have a very good rate of climb. I'm at a pretty sharp angle, and uh, I'm not losing that much airspeed. So okay, come back around and see what else we can find. Um, if you ever see a furball in this plane, uh, dive, I mean, climb to the top of it, pick out the planes on the side, uh, dive on them, shoot them, kill them, and zoom back out. If you try to fight in it, you'll die because someone will turn you and you'll get picked off. Any kind of attack in this plane should be just a dive attack and you zoom in, kill something or damage something, and then you come back out. And what makes this awesome um, energy fighter is obviously the gun, like right here. See, I hit the side of the wing, and it comes right off. And of course, in War Thunder, if you lose the wing, it's an instant kill. But you see, okay, ooh, but I kept running. The Typhoon is trying to turn around and come after me, and of course he died trying. But again, Typhoon is also energy fighter. It's a great ground attack aircraft, but it's also a very, very good energy fighter. And it has amazing armament. I think either 12, uh, 7.7, uh, the first Typhoon is uh, 12, 7.7, and then, of course, the rest of them all have four 20mm cannons, Hispano cannons. Uh, so, same armament, amazing fire rate, and this is literally a saw. Uh, it'll saw off anything that it hits. Um, not a lot of... I haven't really ripped a lot of planes in half, like the Russian planes tend to do, like literally blow your plane into little bits. Uh, but if you can hit the side of the plane, side of the fuselage, and hit like where the wing meets the plane, usually you'll just take it off and get a kill. Or um, if you are... if you have not... you don't want to hit the plane, I mean the wing, and you want to hit the body of the plane, swing your gun up and down, you'll get a pilot kill. Because any plane, even the armored glass, won't stop a 20mm. So, again, see, there's a furball there, but if I go down, um, one of those planes will get me in. You see, there's a few Spitfires in there already, and I definitely don't want to fight Spitfires. There's a couple Cobras down there as well. Um, one thing about Cobras, if you get into a low altitude fight with the Air Cobra, they'll probably win. Uh, they're meant for low altitude fight uh, and ground attacks. So, yeah, again, Russian used a lot of them as anti-tank uh, aircrafts. It's like a fast version of uh, the Stumovic. So, and again, pilot kill. Uh, I don't, I think I maybe just hit him once, but anyway, uh, pilot kill. Uh, couldn't get him, so for the rest of this uh, replay, I pretty much didn't do much. I was trying to catch that uh, Kai 49 that was bombing our base, but I never really got to it, so yeah. Mm, that was the. FW 190 that was chasing me earlier, but one thing you'll never catch FW if he doesn't want you to, so yeah, might as well. But see, this is what I don't understand about our K. Uh, oh, right there, the FW ran me, but the other day, uh, a HE 51 caught up to me in a straight dive and killed me. Okay, so my plane can catch up to. A, a Mustang, but you know, I can't catch up to another similar plane. So, anyhow, uh, let's just get to the end of the f 
thing and see the battle results. Uh, dope, dope, dope. Yeah, this is where this. That's the sad part. So I finally caught up to that Kai 49. Of course, see that's the part of it, and that's the guy that stole my kill. <laughs> okay. So, um, how do we do um, the battle result? Did I record it? Did I? Did I? Did I? Did I? Did I? So, okay, I'm gonna pause here for a sec. Yeah, so I messed up again. Anyway, here's the battle result. Um, yeah, I did okay. Uh, 50,000 credit, roughly. Um, nine, uh, six kills. I actually was not even nearly at the very top. Uh, the top guy got seven air kills, but he got a whole bunch of ground kills. And obviously, the whole entire game, I did nothing but shoot down planes. So I got six kills, and the top guy got seven. So in that perspective, I did okay. Um, obviously, I got crap ton of XP. And being a premium plane, I got a decent amount of gold. Or lions. Um, so yeah, um, hope you guys enjoyed the replay. I obviously had lots and lots of fun with these planes. And especially British. Every British plane is good. And Japanese as well. And yes, I have two Yak-9s. And they're just so troll. It's almost sad. Um, but unfortunately, B-17 is still a huge letdown. Uh, I have all three of them. It, it's just that every time I take them out, uh, some random um, 109 G6 and G10s comes along and one-shots me. So, yeah, I just kind of gave up. Anyhow, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the replay and subscribe to my channel if you if you like it and enjoy the game.